Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 11 of Project 2100. In today's episode, we will build the harbor, as you may have guessed of the title and the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, pre pretty excited about this. I It is a very big project. It is pro probably the biggest uh, single episode that I've made on this series so far. So that's uh, quite impressive in my opinion. I uh, took me to know, for just for you to know what I've done here. I've played, I've uh, built on this harbor for about six hours and I have recorded about four hours of it, uh, of which I will shorten down about three hours to 24 minutes or so of time lapse. Of which not everything will be casted or uh, everything will be commentated like uh, to, like I'm doing now because that's quite uh, much time and I uh, don't really I'm uh, I don't think I would I would uh, survive this <laughs> uh, or I, my voice would not survive this so I will just play some music and then we will meet at the end where I have some uh, very nice cinematics I don't have a live part because I still don't know how to fix the issues with the sound. Yeah, if you've watched the last episode, which I would uh, highly suggest you take checking out at least the first first part, I've uh, made a like a live part with uh, some uh, pretty weird audio glitches. I uh, found out that it was a. Uh, the, re the problem was my is my editing software. It uh, for some reason it doesn't like our. Uh, uh, recorded audio from OBS so um, uh, maybe I, I have to work around that so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one problem but I won't do live parts I'm uh, to be honest with you I don't really I'm not really a, the hu the best or the biggest fan of live parts in general in uh, videos uh, yeah so <laughs> it's, uh, it was uh, basically just a way to make my videos longer uh, but now I have a uh, time lapse all all the way time lapse for you if you like time lapses that's a good thing if you don't then I probably suggest you not uh, watching everything maybe skipping to the end because there are some very nice cinematics at the end but um, now back to what I'm doing in the video I will build a harbor because there is a a bit of a situation going on in my city there are most of my businesses businesses and uh, industrial things, industrial assets or as industrial buildings I should say, they uh, are demanding goods because I've deleted the only cargo train station. So I always wanted to build a harbor, not a big one. It is this one, this harbor is actually not too big. So it I uh, it I don't know. Maybe the, it can process uh, somewhat some of uh, around uh, one million uh, containers a year. No, no, not one million. Maybe maybe less. So it's not the biggest harbor ever. It is just a harbor, a uh, more sort of a local harbor for uh, the city and the surrounding areas. So, yeah. Most of it is uh, only connected up by train. There is one port specifically for uh, cargo, no, for uh, trucks. So that's uh, not those two that I'm uh, building right now on. It's the uh, the third one that you maybe may have spotted before. Um, I separated the city into two parts. One part uh, is the the part where this uh, harbor is on, and the other part is across the bridge. On the other side of the canal, I uh, prohibited trucks on the bridge of the canal. So uh, the only way to get uh, cargo from the harbor to the to the other part of the city, which is which is featuring the downtown and the other areas, will be trains. So there will be some transfer train stations and everything. But I will decorate those in another episode. I am just building the harbor today, and. Uh, yeah, there are some flaws with this harbor. I would have liked to get in some other 
boats than I have here and some other assets like for example automated cranes and everything, automated uh, cargo facility management or whatever it's called. The problem is the workshop. So there are not too many assets uh, that are focused on future uh, automated technologies and uh, th uh, things like st things like that. So I have to work around it, and I would I have to try to make the best uh, out of the situation I have. For example, the the train engines are on are one thing that I would have liked to automate. So I have used the how, how are the models called uh, it's there are tracks t r a x x and ta and taurus t a u r r u s i uh, know both uh, both of those uh, locomotive types uh, from my own experience the tracks uh, tracks locomotives are used by svb cargo which is the the cargo cargo distribution service f featured by the Federal Railways of Switzerland and then there's the Taurus engines that are used by the Deutsche Bahn by the German railway so I, I know both of them I like how they look and I try to implement them a bit in this build and you just have to imagine that they are automated uh, they have a cockpit Maybe the cockpit is just there for pilots if they ever need to m move the vehicle manually so they, they can uh, use the cockpit. But otherwise they should be they should work remotely or independently. So another th thing that I've uh, I wanted to have were where um uh, how, how are they called? Ano uh, uh, autonomous trucks. I have <coughs> sorry. I've seen the Logan movie, and uh, I I like the lo I like the movie. And one thing that it features is uh, I've seen that one thing that it features are trucks or uh, are automated trucks that carry uh, containers around. I really like how they how they uh, f uh, had the idea of uh, build of doing that in the movie. Uh, it is not specifically about trucks and cargo. But uh, it is a very nice idea, so I would have liked to have some of those vehicles, but unfortunately there is not uh, anyone on uh, any vehicle like that on the workshop, so that's a bit of a bummer. But yeah, I, c I can work around this for some somewhat. I can work around this somewhat, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, I also built um, some... Uh, yeah, uh, f uh, what did I want to say? Just I, I have forgotten it. I'm very planned out. I, you have to know. I don't. When I uh, record the live parts, or uh, bet better said, uh, when I record the audio of uh, such episode, I don't, I don't make a list or anything. I just, I just uh, think for a moment before I start recording. What do I want to talk about? And then I just talk about it, or I forget it, or, or anything. Yeah. That's uh, how I work, or how I do stuff here. I don't like lists normally. I don't follow them. And if I if I make a list, they tend to be rather large, and I tend to just read what's on the list. So then, I don't really have any topics because uh, one thing th one thing that's positive that's uh, positive uh, in quotation marks uh, but rather one thing that is uh, a good thing for me is uh, my lack of English skills. In the sense that I don't, I'm not really the best person to talk English all the time, or talk English fast. If you you might have noticed that, I am a, a person that c can talk English but not too fast. I so I can I can uh, cheat cheat the system somewhat and make make my videos longer or make my audio recording longer without saying anything more <laughs> that's basically uh, yeah that's basically it now uh, back to the video i've uh, i've talked uh, uh, a lot right now about nothing in the video specifically i put down some uh or mostly railway lines and the, here we are 
here I'm uh, putting down some of those very nice cranes, uh, container cranes, I really like them. I, uh, I wanted to do that for a while there now. I, uh, there are some of those very nice props on the workshop, they are made by Avania, uh, or Avania. The container stacks, I wanted to use them so much. I. I don't think I went overboard with it. I think it was the usage of the containers er, is quite is quite reasonable in uh, in the sense of how big this harbor is. I made I actually looked up a real life harbor. I uh, looked up the harbor in Basel. If you don't know where Basel is, I probably don't know. I probably have mispronounced the n English name of of it. Basil is uh, not the. Pl I don't mean the plant. I mean, or or ba bale or ball. I I don't know. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's the Rheinhafen in as, as northern Switzerland. It's a uh, it's a harbor on the Rhine River. It is a it is a river harbor. So I I give that to you. But basically, the city here is located on the Great Lakes. So. Uh, there are some you could make some uh, analogies of the from this yeah I have uh, have a river rivers type harbor with uh, many ships that uh, follow the the rivers from Canada or from the US I don't know how how I don't know the river systems in the US and Canada but they follow the river and deliver goods to the city where you, yeah by boat and the size is a uh, fairly reasonable and for there are maybe there are a bit much bit uh, many containers but uh, that's okay for my s for my taste if you don't like it then you can you can give me some critique or then you can give me a critic critics critics uh, in in the comments yeah <laughs> tldr darp is uh, okay right now um, now I don't have too much to say right now other than uh, just uh, enjoy the time lapse and I will put down some uh, nice music for you to enjoy the next couple of minutes. Um, it's about 10 minutes or 12 minutes. So if you like time lapses then you can just put that down and have some music. Uh, and if you don't like it then you can uh, skip right to the live part or live part in quotations to the cinematics part at the end it's about two minutes or something before the end so I uh, hope I see you there <laughs>
yeah, that concludes the building of this episode's project, the harbor. I really, really like how it turned out. It is one of my favorite builds that I've done in this uh, YouTube series, maybe even on all the YouTube uh, videos that I've done so far. And I also really like the cinematics here at the end. I played around with the daylight and the time of day and some cinematic camera modes like lower FPS to get better image quality. I hope that uh, has brought you something. Maybe you have noticed that uh, this video is delivered in 1440p, uh, maybe 4K one day. Please let me know down in the comments if you if you want to see videos in 4K. One uh, small tip is that YouTube renders the videos in 4K a bit different than in uh, Full HD, which results in better image quality overall on all qualities, so that's uh, one thing that is an advantage for 4K, even though you may not have a 4K screen or something else to show it. Maybe you have a cinema, I don't know. I'm just saying. So. But uh, this concludes this video. If you have any suggestions on uh, how to improve the harbor or make new districts, I have, uh, then there's a comment box. I have a uh, hint, hint, I have a, a plan to make a park on rooftops, but uh, that's something for the next couple of episodes. If you want to see more of Project 2100, you can uh, subscribe to my channel well, where I try to make new videos every week or twice a week, I don't know how the, sh how the sh schedule, schedule is, is. So, I hope you've liked this video. If you have liked it, then you can give a thumbs up. And if you if not, then screw you and give a th thumbs down. So, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.